Emissions control technologies are already playing an important part in our lives. Catalytic converters in personal vehicles make use of expensive precious metals, such as platinum and palladium, to eliminate toxic gases from the exhaust stream. What if one could find a much more active catalyst, making it possible to manufacture catalytic converters at a fraction of today's cost? This could be possible in the near future, thanks to the superior catalytic properties of gold-based nanomaterials. While bulk gold does not corrode and keeps its bright yellow colour, nano-sized gold exhibits remarkable catalytic properties. Consequently, a minute quantity of gold could do a better job than much larger quantities of palladium. There are, however, complications. Sub nanoscale catalysts, consisting of only a few gold atoms, show very rich and difficult to understand chemistry, and finding the right composition requires trial and error experimentation in the lab. For example, a catalyst that consists of eight gold atoms can be extremely active for oxidation reactions, whereas the catalyst that consists of six gold atoms is not active at all. This behavior has puzzled many researchers over the last decade. A collaborative theoretical study among researchers at the University of Pittsburgh, University of Delaware and University College London unravels a high degree of complexity in the catalytic behavior of these materials. We used quantum chemistry to study the reaction mechanism for different gold nanoclusters and then estimated the catalytic activity using our kinetic Monte Carlo software Zacros. Our studies showed that defects in the support material strongly influence activity, but also the size of the nanocluster is very important. For instance, gold 6 deactivates by carbonate formation, whereas gold 8 exhibits sustained activity. This is a significant step forward towards understanding these materials and designing effective and economical catalysts for sustainable technologies. The study has been featured as the cover article in the January issue of Catalysis Science and Technology and has been shortlisted for the iChemE Global Awards 2015.